Digital Asset Manager and Content Composer were introduced starting with HCL Portal 9.5. And until only recently, your only choice to see these features in action was to deploy them on OpenShift or another Kubernetes platform. However, now there's an option to run them locally using Docker Compose on Docker Desktop. Available on the DX Public GitHub repository, you can download a few scripts and YAML files for this type of deployment. So before we proceed, I'll mention one note regarding the support. If you review the support file in the project, this setup is only intended for development and testing environments and is provided as is. So no HCL support is available for this type of setup. With the disclaimer out of the way, let's see how this works. Reviewing the README, there's a script to load the needed images downloaded from the HCL software portal. Then there's a script to set some environment variables. And then we simply run Docker Compose up. And there's a note regarding performance since this setup uses bind mount volumes. So I'll remove the WP profile volume for this demo. As you can see, I've downloaded the scripts and files here, and I have the CF195 images as well. Now, if I open dx.yaml, you can see what will be created by Docker Compose. Um, and again, for performing reasons, I'll remove the volume from the core container. Now I need to run the load script to load my images to the local Docker repository. First, as you can see, I'm on Mac. I have Docker Desktop installed, which already installs Docker Compose for me. Please refer to the Docker and Docker Compose documentation to get them installed on your platform. I'm currently in the dx-docker-compose-main directory, which is what I downloaded um, from the repository. And as you can see, I don't have any images loaded, nor do I have any containers created. So first I'll run the load script and point to my CF195 directory. With that complete, I can check the images again, and now I can see the needed images have been loaded to my local Docker repository. The script also updated the dx.properties file with the corresponding image names and tags. Now, in case you have the images already loaded in a private repository, you can modify this file with the appropriate repository image name and tags. To demonstrate this, I'll update this file with my private repository info, but since the images are already loaded locally, it won't have to download them again. Now I need to run the set script to set the needed environment variables, and now I can run docker compose up and I'll use the dash D flag to detach. With all the containers created, I can monitor the portal container logs to see when the server is up. Once portal is up, I can access the portal server. Log in using the default credentials, WPS admin, WPS admin. Now, if I open the Applications menu, you'll notice I don't have an option for Digital Asset Manager, nor do I see Content Composer when I access web content. This is because there's an additional step to configure DAM and CC. Going back to the README, there's a section on installing DAM and CC. So I'll run this install app script which will run some config tasks and restart portal. So I'll just skip over that in this video. With that complete, I'll refresh portal and open the applications menu once more. And now I see both Digital Asset Manager and Content Composer.